Good morning, Sprucewood Falcons. Thank you, fourth grade, for doing our Star Spangled Banner. This week is December 9th through the 13th. Let's go to kindergarten for the letter of the week. Hi, my name is Leah. I'm with Lexi and Piper from Mrs. Willie's class. Lexi, can you tell me what the letter of the week is? Ah. Uh. What sound does R make? Mm. What are some things that start with R, Piper? Ring, rainbow, rabbit. Good job. Thank you, kindergarten. Now to our reporter for our story highlights. I'm in the cafeteria with Mrs. Angie. Miss Angie, can you tell us what respect in the cafeteria looks like? I can. I'd like to touch on about six points with you guys today real quick about ways that we can be more respectful in the cafeteria. Um, number one is walk. We want to make sure when we're coming in from recess and entering the lunchroom that we are doing it uh, quickly and quietly, that we're not running or even fast walking or someone might get tripped or hurt. We want to make sure that we're using our indoor voices and that's one way that we can be respectful when entering the lunchroom. The second thing I'd like to talk about is being prepared and being responsible. So I just want to make sure that everybody makes their lunch choices first thing in the morning and stick with your lunch choice when you come down through line and then make sure that you grab everything as you're going through the line in order. So if you want milk, grab your milk first so you don't come back at the end. Grab your utensils and we don't want any clinking in line or musical instruments. If you can just keep them in your hand or on your tray, that would be great. Come down, pick your, your meal that you picked for the day and then you're going to move on to putting in your number and sitting down. The third thing that I want to talk to you about is being polite and respectful. We want to be a building community here. We want to build each other up. So we want to make sure that we're only using kind words at the table. And also when coming through the line, please and thank you. You're welcome. Any of those words go a really long way. So just please be polite when at the table. Also, we want to make sure that we're remaining seated. You'll hear us come through a lot and say, please stay on your pockets. That is for your safety as well as ours. We don't want anybody to get tripped over because their legs are hanging out or they fall because they're on their knees. So please just remain on your pockets. That would be great. And then we want to make sure after we've done all these things to have a great lunch period, we want to make sure that we clean up. So that means we're taking our trash to the garbage. If there's a spill, we're letting somebody know. And if somebody else has left trash on the table, even though it's not yours, the good friend thing to do is to pick it up and take it to the trash for them. That way we can leave things better than we found it. And last but not least, we wanna make sure that we wait to be excused. So this is being enforced now to where once you get your five minute warning, you're gonna go dump your tray. And then when you get the one minute warning that lets you know this is maybe my last time to go dump my tray possible, and then I'm gonna come down and sit down and get ready for my teacher. And I'm going to sit at the table waiting for her or him. And once they come and I, they make the signal that I can stand up, then we're going to do that quickly and quietly. That way everybody can get out of the lunchroom and we can get the tables washed. And these are ways that we can have respect. The last thing that I would like to ask of you guys is that when we do an attention getter and we say bump, 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 or something like that and you respond back to us, please do it not in a mocking manner. Please respond respectfully and then all eyes on the person asking for your attention. Listen to them through the whole duration of what they're saying and then when they're done, put into effect what's been asked. If we can do all these things, and I know you can do all these things, I think we can all have a great lunchroom experience. Thank you, Miss Angie. Falcons, let's show the cafeteria how we can be respectful. Hello, Falcons. Wanted to talk to you today about our change of season. It is winter. You know, sometimes in the winter, it's beautiful. It's warm and sunny. Oh, I love the sun on my face. But guess what? In the next five minutes, the sun can go behind a cloud. It can get cold. It can snow. So please, please remember, bring your coats on the playground. It's easier to take it off than it is to be cold. Thank you, Falcons. Hi, Falcons. I'm with Miss Hershey. She's going to remind us how to show respect on the playground this winter. Well, thank you for having me here today. 
It is winter and we do have lots of snow and ice on the playground, so just a few rules to keep us safe. Let's please keep the snow and the ice on the ground. Please do not pick it up and definitely don't throw it. Also, try to stay off of any icy patches. No sliding, please, Falcons. And also, when we blow the whistle to line you up, it's cold outside and we want to get you in quickly to eat. So please quiet down so we can get you in in an orderly fashion. Miss Hershey, are we allowed to make snowmen? Good questions, Lydia. Do you know, we don't allow snowmen because of several reasons. They freeze overnight and create big snowballs that people can fight and slide on. Also, we don't want them accidentally rolled down the hill. It can actually ruin our fences. Thank you, Miss Hershey. Let's show our respect on the playground. Now for Sprucewood current events. F Friday at 9.30 in the morning, there will be a choir and orchestra assembly. Have a great week, Falcons.